What's up guys, Iceman here. So in this video, I'm gonna showcase the Amazon and this is in the PTR 2.4 patch. So I got me a lot of gears. I normally don't find this stuff. As those of you know, who watch Ice Boy's channel, but check this out. This is going to be a wind force Amazon, right? And it's actually quite viable. I experimented with it for just a moment. I didn't finish a chaos run but uh, I went through it some. So she's level 85. Uh, I put a shale on this bow. If you're using wind force and you have faith on your mercenary, you want to have at least 95 IES. It's pretty much what you need. So I have 100 right here. Now that's if she has a level 13 plus fanaticism on her bow. A level... 12 fanaticism is going to be garbage. So uh, it, it's going to require you to hit breakpoints that are often very difficult to reach in a basic D2R uh, without having like multiple sockets on a helm and shit like you can with the mods, but <clears throat> we could put IS jewels in them. But on that note, what the Merc is wearing, uh, just a faith with a great bow, 14 fanaticism, fortitude, and a tell Rasha Crest. I think it's level 13 plus that you need. It might be level 14 plus for 95. I just can't remember. Uh, you might want to verify that. I'm quite sure it's 13 plus fanaticism. You need 95 IES in total on your Amazon, including the wind force attack speed uh, to reach the final break point you can reach uh, with uh, the Hydra Bow and all that. So. Andy's Visage, and yeah, it's quite ugly on the Amazon, but let's be honest, in D2R, this bitch can't get any uglier anyway. So it's it's a decent helm, and you get IES, obviously, uh, kind of needed. I did put a charm in this for my mercenary, because my mercenary is wearing this helm. <clears throat> so don't judge Ice Boy too harshly for also wearing a Ravenfrost. All right, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to just use the gear that the devs gave us. And uh, as many of us know, they didn't really give us uh, all the stuff that we needed to thoroughly test like endgame builds. But uh, Raven House is nice because the attack rating, of course, the dex, which directly adds to your damage now. So does the uh, cold damage here. So don't mix the two, but it adds some damage. And really the mana is nice, the cold absorb, but ideally in this setup, you wouldn't put a charm in this. You'd put something else in there. <clears throat> Pierce is really nice. Uh, plus, you get 10 max damage from this belt, uh, which really adds up. Uh, let's see what that does for her. 15 dex, 10 max damage. See that? It gives her an adequate amount of damage. Uh, especially when you get some multipliers applied. Like, for example, the fanaticism we're about to receive from the mercenary. Uh, Enigma, now, <clears throat> this is also a, uh, you know, I know most plebs actually wear Fortitude, okay? But Fortitude on a Windforce on is for plebs. <clears throat> it's nice being able to teleport, because you really need this Mercenary R. And I just like the style points. You can have a bunch of decks. Remember, uh, decks adds to your damage. So with the Amazon, with your ranged attacks. So the more decks, the merrier. And I decided to go around 600 life. But yeah, nonetheless, Enigma. Uh, you just get a lot of strength. The teleport to reposition your Merc. Uh, the run walk is actually very handy. You're running a lot. You know, of course, the Amazon's cast rates uh, are garbage. So you really only ta cast teleport when you need to. All other times, you pretty much want to run. And it's nice being able to run fast. Hi, Lords. Uh, we needed help to get to that. Final breakpoint for IS, and of course the one of all skills, the Deadly Strike, more importantly, are very nice, and so is the Light Res. Cow King Boots, uh, just because this is all I have. Uh, ideally, you'd want to have War Travs on here. Uh, to a lesser extent, maybe Go Riders, but War Travs, if you have a lot of multipliers going on, depending on your setup, you might want to try the new Concentration Bow, which I intend to try out, the Mist Bow. Uh, you might want to have Faith on, and uh, maybe have a Pride Merc or something like that, or even a Reaper's Toll Merc. Uh, just something more budget friendly but there's all sorts of variations but this one i just wanted to try it's quite expensive uh 
and the fact that you have to uh, make a faith for your mercenary. Because if you're going to make a faith, you know, it, it's hard to to use those high runes on your mercenary. Uh, but for this build, it's it's kind of essential. And then this ring is just what I had in the stash. But really, the twisters do stun your targets. She kind of needed some life leech. Uh, something to note about this. You want a high mana leech wind force. Uh, this is, of course, the minimal roll. It rolls from six to eight. Seven or eight would have been very nice. It actually makes quite a bit of a difference. Uh, but this is the one that was in the stash. So this is what I'm going to use. And uh, that's all I have for mana leech. So it'd be nice to have just a little bit more. Uh, something that they need to change in D2R. They need to give us more arrows. It's just, it runs out too quickly. Uh, it's definitely not an overpowered character in its current iteration. So make these things a thousand or something like that. Make, make them, make the stacks a thousand. You, know, you could argue just make them infinite, like how uh, Project Diablo 2, the modded version of D2 does and how pod does it but really it's 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 a bit less immersive even though i like that it's very convenient i'd be all right with a thousand and then of course you can just and uh what if there were a way to where an arrow stack would fall on the ground and when you have your inventory closed you could run up to it and it wouldn't just start filling your inventory with the excess of arrows after stacking it would only replenish your quantity and it wouldn't fill your inventory slots. It'd be nice if there was an option for that. But anyway, the skills just, uh, I have a lot of skill points now to use. So I was just experimenting some. I have, I got the 17 Valkyrie. You kind of want her to be 17. I believe she can use a sacred armor and a war pike at that level. Uh, really the more the merrier, but get her to 17 and uh, she'll, she'll survive quite well. She's really just there to tank and survive. I pumped some into Critical Strike, not many. Uh, I got uh, Pierce to a level appropriate uh, to have Max Pierce with Razor Tail. In fact, Penetrate might be one to add a bit more to. Yeah, it's nice because you have so many skill points left over if you're just a pure physical Zon. Because I maxed Multi-Shot and Strafe. And uh, of course, there are hybrids of many sorts, but I'm just not going to tamper with that. I'm going to go pure physical and... The thing is, from my testing so far, I, I think maybe they should buff multi-shot a little bit more. Uh, this this damage nerf took place I don't know, many years ago in a uh, one of the more recent patches uh, for Diablo 2 anyway, but still was many years ago, where they nerfed it. They nerfed this and they nerfed Strafe. They did, both did three-fourth weapon damage. But the thing is, they unnerfed Strafe, right, for D2R. 2.4 patch, and uh, they didn't do anything to multi-shot, to my understanding. It's quite weak, but I don't know. Let's let's see how it does, all right? But remember, those dex points, because check this out. Now, here's the fanaticism applied with that multiplier. It's not a huge multiplier, but it's a multiplier nonetheless. I'd actually like to try a conch, Wyman Merc, and uh, have faith on my Amazon. But of course... Pride might be a better way to go. Uh, faith and pride, I don't know. Just There's all sorts of variations, which is kind of the fun about this. But just look at the damage. Here's five dex points, and watch the strafe. 777, 803, so that was just from five points. All right. Uh, the hotkeys are very nice. How you can have these little uh, quick cast skills. You just have to go to your... Right here. Wait. Uh, right here. Gameplay. Quick cast skills. It's very nice. Then you can just have your default one on right and your default one on left and just quick cast wherever else you want. See, and I have uh, teleport on quick cast. Almost sucked my man away right there. But here's how she performs. All right. It's, uh, it's, it's not, it's not bad for players one. Let's check this out. I need a little bit more mana leech. I could use a little bit more mana as well. Uh, I usually strafe if there's just, if there's a narrow line of enemies, that's kind of where strafe tends to prevail. If there's not a narrow line and they're just scattered all over the place, multi-shot vastly outperforms it if you have a decent level multi-shot. And I think I, I maxed both of these. I maxed strafe. And uh, I max multi-shot. 
it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a few points into uh, Magic Arrow as well. But generally, for a Chaos Run, you'd probably skip this part. Um, I kill things on the way. Get some Mana Leech going there. That's right, this isn't PD2. I don't have to wait for a cooldown on Teleport. Uh, I keep forgetting that. But get to a good position. But then your Mercenary. Uh, you can keep that Fanaticism up. If you lose the Fanaticism, here's with Fanaticism. You see that? A very nice attack speed. Without it... It's, it's bad. Oh, it's not that bad. Holy shit. There's got to be a difference, though. Yeah, she's attacking a little faster with it, alright? Pretty damn sure. So, let's see how well she can run it. I think for players one, it's okay. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you guys think it would be uh, too overpowered if, say, they take away the nerf from multi-shot. Uh, of course, this setup is just one of the many setups. Uh, I think this can tend to be a higher damage output. Now, this is not a maxed out character by any means, as uh, many of you toads know who are watching. Let's take a look at what the charms are. Probably has ass, oh, doesn't have any charms. Holy shit. All right, so no charms whatsoever. Uh, the max damage charms, I mean, you guys saw what the Razor Tail did for damage. It did okay. Uh, so if you get an inventory, you get a good amount of those three max damage uh, and AR small charms, it's going to really boost up your damage. Now, maybe not so much with this build that's wearing uh, Enigma. That's the thing is it's, a, it's, it's something to balance out because your multipliers all affect your base damage. And just hard damage points added to that. So when you stack multipliers upon multipliers, and that's your the the uh, that's where the majority of your damage is coming from, it's it's just going to have diminishing results, really. So you would have a lot more damage if you had a fortitude on. In fact, uh, maybe I'll try that out in another video. I'll kind of compare the two. Uh, but the thing is, you then you would have to respect because with this, you'll have to put in a lot more strength for Fortitude. Because this Enigma here is giving 63 strength right there, which could otherwise uh, maybe theoretically be uh, 63 you add into Dex. Which I think is 1% damage per Dex point. But I don't know if it calculates differently than what you would get, say, from Enhanced Multipliers on Fortitude. I don't really think it does, but it, it might. It might calculate a little differently. But, all right, let's try some magic arrow. And I should have that on a hotkey, but I don't. I'll put it on one now. See, that's how you can deal with the physical immunes right there. Ooh, nice rare antlers. Piece of trash. There we go. 72. 29 to 43. Hell yeah. So a significant amount of max damage, as you can see, you get from just a measly 2 max damage. So if that were a 3, it would be even more of an increase. And uh, of course you can get up to 14 max damage Grand Charms. I think that's the only mod those can possess, however. It's like a prefix and suffix added on. Or you can get 10 max damage Grand Charms with a uh, decent amount of AR added to them. So things like that. But yeah, you want to have a lot of these. Rare ring. Some mana steel. But. So we have the Hammerton, right? To compare to very fast run speed of the Chaos Sanctuary. We have the Lightning Sorceress that hasn't been nerfed at all in D2R. In fact, uh, there's even a perk to them now where you can have a Nova Sorceress. Uh, Nova is very Im impressive for players one. Uh, I'll probably make a video showcasing that. I actually uh, use that a lot in, uh, in a video I made recently. If that hasn't posted yet, I'm not sure. But So, <clears throat> there's a lot of competition. I mean, this... Yeah, you could picture this with an inventory full of max damage charms. Uh, I don't know, level 90 some maybe, just mourned decks. Uh, maybe less into vitality even. 
Uh, some would probably say that's just too much vitality. Or say a glass cannon. Now generally, your resists are going to suck if you're really trying to maximize damage output. Which of course, as you can see here, in a place like the Cast Sanctuary, it's easy to avoid damage. But that isn't always the case other places in the game. Uh, when you're running the Rollstone Keep, when you're running Bell, it can... Uh, there's a lot more room for error. All right, because look at this. Her cold res is negative 100, negative 80 fire res, negative 65 lightning res. So yeah, basically the burning souls are going to obliterate your ass. Uh, you could have, what I like to do if I'm running a boson and I care about her dying, I have a T-Gods in stash and uh, lightning grand charms with 30 light res. You can pop those on, get your light res maxed. Uh, you'll have probably quite a few in your inventory of charms for resist. But nonetheless, you can then absorb the lightning and uh, take very little damage from it. So it's a way around it, and that's something that I would like to do when I'm running with my boys in-game or uh, doing MF runs and all that. It's just nice to have those things in the stash, even more so now in D2R, that we have a larger stash and we have a shared stash. So it's a bit more reasonable now to consider having uh, gear just kind of tucked away like that to use in certain scenario situations. So here's Diablo. You might want to use probably Guided Arrow for him. It's not going to be a good boss killer. Holy shit. And not a good boss killer at all. So, uh, barely hurt him there. But yeah, basically just want to multi-shot him. So I'm, maybe I'll go back to him and I'll see what I can do. So I'm on my way to Satan. I got stuck. And the mercenary on her own just doesn't do much damage. Although she is able to kill this unique apparently. 2400 damage. I think they should maybe have a skill... Like, for example, the uh, Thag 2 Mercenary has Jab. Of course, this one has Freezing Arrow and Cold Arrow, but maybe they should have a skill that just allows them to attack a little faster. Maybe Strafe. Maybe even Multi-Shot. That they attack with on occasion. I don't know. I can't make it back to the body. So I'm going to have to make a new game. and I'm going to get back to Satan, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, she really got wasted there. Uh, you gotta be careful. You gotta kite around. I just wasn't doing that. And you gotta uh, be considerate of how, how shitty your resists are. So, I'll be right back. So here's Satan again. Yeah, it's probably best to keep your distance. There you go. That's not bad. That's not bad. So if you're able to chill him a little bit. All right, so that's not bad at all, really, for players one. Now on players eight, I mean, with her current gear setup, she's really gonna suck. I think you can do it right here, can't you? Oh, okay, only available while an offline player. Okay, so you can't do it here. But for players eight, they really suck. I mean. For players three, they suck. Unless if you start, you gotta really maximize your damage output Hello. to put out even an, an acceptable amount of damage. But let me know you, what you guys think about this in the comments below. What really is your preference when it comes to a boson? Do you like the Faith boson with a Pride Merc? Do you like the Windforced boson with a Faith Merc? Uh, do you like another variation of that? I'm kind of curious to try out the Mist Bow. It has Concentration Aura. Uh, not quite uh, in par with just pure damage output as uh, Faith is. But I think it might allow for some interesting mix-up builds, uh, depending on what mercenary you're using. So I might give that a shot as well. Become a patron if you want. Links in the description below if you want to support the Ice Boy. For those of you who do, I appreciate you. May your finances be blessed. And may you have many wives. Peace with you.